Hi guys, I am back with another Dollarama haul for you. Uh, for this one, I actually went to a couple different Dollaramas. Um, I really do like doing that because you can find some really neat items at each of the different locations and what you're able to find at one, um, you may not be able to find at the other. So I always find that kind of fun to do just to see what the differences are. And like I mentioned before, you do have to be careful because sometimes the pricing between the stores is different as well. So I'm going to dive right in. I think I'm going to start with the items that are kind of just random, um, that don't really have a whole lot to go along with them. I mentioned in my previous hauls that I like to pick up snacks for my kids' lunches from Dollarama because they are $2, which is equivalent to what they typically go on sale for at the grocery stores. Uh, so this is the Christy Oreo mini uh, cookie packs, and these are peanut free, so they're fine to send to school. So I picked up one box of those. Then I also picked up uh, hand and face wipes by Wetkins. You get 40 sheets in here and they are unscented. Um, I actually picked these up because right now I'm using uh, baby wipes on my three and four year olds uh, faces after they eat or their hands because uh, they tend to get the messiest out of all of them. And I just thought that wipes designed for the hand and face would be better than ones that are actually designed for a baby's bottom. Uh, these were $2. Then I also picked up another package of notes. So these are by Sentimental Studios and they're just blank inside. You get eight cards and eight envelopes again for $1.25. But because I am a supply teacher, I just thought that the apples were really fitting. And if I do a longer term, uh, term assignment, then I can give these out to the kids or to their parents or parent volunteers or other staff that I work with. I just thought they were really cute being apples. Then I also picked up two more candles. Uh, typically I find the little mason jar candles at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So these ones are $1.50. Uh, they're the old Williamsburg candles as well. Um, but at Dollarama, they just price things a little bit higher typically. The reason I got these ones are uh, is because they are in two different scents that I've never seen before at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I just never find them or if they don't carry these particular ones. So I got blueberry pancakes. And the color of this candle is just so pretty. It's like a nice dark denim color. And then I also picked up chocolate chip cookie. My son was with me when we found these and he absolutely loved this one. It does smell like you've just baked a batch of um, uh, fresh cookies, like they've come right out of the oven. Super delicious. I got those two. Uh, in my previous uh, Dollarama haul, I did find two of the plastic frozen cups uh, for my kids to use in the bathroom. So I wanted to get a one for each of my sons. So these are the emoji ones. So there's one with a bunch of monkeys on it doing the different faces. And then there's like good and evil on this one. Again, these are only $1.25 and they're perfect for the bathroom because you don't have to worry about them breaking. Um, I also picked up water bottles to try. So these are actually in the camping section and they're the um, like flat water bottles that you can even roll up or fold up and throw in your purse or tote. And then you can fill them with water. You can also freeze them, which is really neat. You just don't fill them as high. And then they do come with a little hook. So you can put them off your purse, off a tote bag or off a backpack. Um, I thought these might be perfect for school. Uh, we're going to test them out beforehand just to see if they leak or not. Uh, just a screw top to fill it up at the sink. And then to actually drink out of, it's got a cap and then one of the pop tops. So it should be super simple for even my three-year-old to use. And they were both $1.25. 
So far I've only been able to find two different ones. I found the pink with white polka dots and then I found just a pale blue color. So I'm excited to try those and hopefully they work. That's a good price for a water bottle and it's neat that you're able to either roll it up or fold it up when you're done and it's going to take up so much less space. Then I also picked up another part of my son's birthday party prep. Um, if you watched my previous hauls, he's doing an emoji theme for his birthday. That's what he wanted to do. So we found this three pack of hanging decorations by Celebration for only a dollar. Look at the big emoji face there. And there it shows you the three different ones that you get. And it's just the ones that twirl down and you can hang them from your ceiling or a light fixture. Then I also picked up a soft and dry clinical deodorant and this is in the fresh pomegranate. Uh, the reason I got this from Dollarama and it's where I typically buy it is it's only four dollars. Whereas if you buy this anywhere else like Shoppers Drug Mart or Walmart it's at least eight dollars if not more. I've seen it go as high as um, $9.99 so ten bucks. So to find it at Dollarama for only four I always pick it up there. Then I think we will move on to Halloween. Actually, I have a couple more items that I can share with you first. I did manage to find some Sharpies. So these are the original Sharpies. So they are the thicker tip, not the super fine one, but they come in a two pack. I know some of the other haulers have been getting them from Dollar Tree and we do have them at the Canadian Dollar Tree but only in black, at least that's all that I've seen and you only get one in a package for $1.25 here in Canada. These are at Dollarama, they were $1.50 for two, so that works out to be 75 cents a piece and in such fun colors. So this one was like a magenta and an orange, I got a green and a pink. And then I also got a purple and a blue. So 75 cents per Sharpie is an amazing deal. You're not gonna find that anywhere else. Then I also picked up some more bandages. Uh, if you watched my small little Dollar Tree and mom and pop shop that I just posted before this one, uh, you did see that I held some neon bandages, which I wanna try. But when I saw these ones, I thought they were perfect for my boys. So in this one, you get 32 bandages, but they are camouflage, which I just thought was the neatest thing. I mean, my one son's uh, only five, so he might try and, you know, put one on his hand and they'll go, go and stand by a tree and see if he disappears. But I thought it would be fun for them rather than some of the girly and like cartoon ones that you can get. I thought this would be neat. It was only two bucks for the entire tin and it comes in a neat little metal tin as well rather than the cardboard boxes that most of the band-aids come in. Oh, then I also finally found a pencil case for my younger son. He's going into grade one so he doesn't need too many school supplies sent with him but in my previous haul I did pick up an eraser for him and I think I've also gotten him a couple other items. So I got him this pencil case that he can carry the stuff to school in. And it's also that sport themed. He's really excited for basketball this fall. So I wanted to continue with that theme for him. It's a single zipper, but it's a decent sized pouch. Like I said, he doesn't need too many things, but I thought just for him to keep it together in his backpack or his cubby at school, it was $3 but the pattern is really nice and it's a stronger material as well. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Halloween. <laughs> I found these cute little caution signs. So they're called creepy little caution, uh, caution signs and you get two for a dollar 25. And the one says a zombie crossing and the other says, the witch is in. I am going to use these to decorate um, like the top of my TV cabinet. And I just thought they were so cute. 
Then also going on the top of that cabinet um, are some of the pumpkins that I've hauled previously. And then when I found this little tiny coffin, I thought that would be neat to put up there as well. So it actually does open. Uh, it was $1.50 and I'm going to be painting it black just so it's a little bit more fitting for Halloween. Then I also picked up these Halloween pails for collecting your Halloween candy in. Uh, previous uh, years I've given the kids like the tote, the Halloween tote bags that the dollar stores typically put out. And I find that they have difficulties like separating the handles. I don't know if it's because it's dark or because they get super excited, but they have trouble like actually opening the bag when they go up to the door to get their uh, candy. So I thought that this with just the one handle and the nice open bowl for them to collect their candy in, that it would be a lot easier for them. Also, it's not going to be as uh, big and um, uh, tall for them because my youngest daughter is super tiny and last year she was like dragging her tote bag behind her but she insisted on doing it her herself so yeah by the time we were done it almost had a hole in it and she was losing candy everywhere so I figured this way we can uh, let them each carry one of these and we can just hold on to a tote that they can end up dumping this bin in if it becomes too heavy or too full for them because I'm not sure if the handle will hold too much weight but the plastic itself is actually fairly sturdy so I got this one with the bats and then I got this one with like the Frankenstein face on it and they were each $1.25. I do need to find two more but I wanted to find different ones for the kids and this is the only two styles that I could find so far. Then I also found these plastic uh, travel mugs. So they are fairly thin plastic. I'm not even sure if I would put hot coffee in here. I might just use it for juice or water. Uh, but when I saw the saying on them, I thought it was too cute to pass up. So it does say, uh, does say, say boo and scary on. So it's like that British um, quote, keep calm and carry on, but just made to be Halloween. And you actually get two cups in here with the lids for $1.25. So two cups for that price. So that is an amazing deal. Even if they don't last long and it's only the one Halloween season, at least you've got something uh, festive to keep your beverage until then. Then I also picked up some soap for the bathroom and then probably the kitchen but they are Halloween themed in both their scent and in the decorative bottles. So these are both by Ivy and Castle and it's a foaming ham, hand wash and you get 500 milliliters in it. And this one is in the pumpkin spice. So I'll show it, it's got the pump up top and it actually comes completely sealed in plastic. Uh, the only downfall to that being that you weren't able to open it and smell it, so I'm hoping that it does smell good, but pumpkin spice items normally do. Some are just a little stronger than others. But if you see on this one, it's got a zombie family, which I just thought was so cool. And it was $3, so again, one of the more expensive items that you can find at Dollarama, but for the amount that you're getting for it and the neat little design in the bottle, I thought that was pretty neat. The other one I got has a sugar skull on it for the Day of the Dead, and it is cherry vanilla. So I've actually never found those two scents together before, but I have a feeling that one is going to smell really, really good. Then, if you have been following my uh, Dollarama hauls that I've posted before, you know that I like to collect the uh, Thai beanie boos. My kids are obsessed with them and when I saw these ones I'm like I have to get these. These are absolutely perfect for Halloween. So the first one I found is this purple sparkly bat and he's got gold glitter ears. And again these Thai babies are about the size of my hand, maybe a little bit bigger. I do have large hands though, and they're $4 when they re regularly retail elsewhere for about 10. So I got purple bat. 
I got a black bat with pink eyes and in his wings it says boo in different colors and he's super soft. And then the last one I got was a ghost and he's holding a pumpkin and if you look at his teeth they're little candy corn and I thought that was just so adorable. Also if you check out your local Dollarama you'll find that they do have their own uh, like stuffy brand. I'm not even sure what it is. Um, I think it just might even say like stuffed animal on the tag or something like that. But they tend to create the same designs as the Thai uh, Beanie Boo Babies. So there's an identical ghost. He just doesn't have like the cute candy corn details and his eyes aren't as sparkly. But the same size, same style and everything like that, but a knockoff. And it's the same price. So they don't even lower it. It's not like it's $2 or anything like that to make you kind of question whether you want to fork out the four full dollars um, for the Thai baby. It's the same price. So why wouldn't you get the Thai licensed stuffy instead? I just don't see the, um, like, like why they would go about doing that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Normally, if you're recreating a knockoff product, you price it cheaper. All right, the rest of the items are going for either birthdays or Christmas gifts. If you have watched my previous hauls, you know that I like to start stocking up on my gifts now. I have three birthdays in the fall, then we go straight into Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas. So it's all really quick, it all really happens really fast, and I like to avoid the stores during holiday time. So I'm going to quickly continue with these. Hopefully my haul isn't too long and you continue watching because I have found some really neat things. Uh, if you have been watching my Dollar Tree hauls, um, even in the one I just posted before this one, you'll see that I did haul the giftums, but I hauled just the individual presents. So it wasn't a full set, it was just two of the little individual gift boxes. So this is actually a three pack. And they do show you two of the little girls that you get in the boxes. And then in the third one, it's a mystery. So they don't show you what you're going to get in that one. But there's 84 different friends to collect. And then on the back, they do show you all the different ones from each of the countries that you're able to try and make in your collection. And it was $4 for the three of them, but I thought this was a good way to get my daughter interested in them. So this is probably going to be for her birthday, and then I'm going to use the smaller ones for her and her sister's stocking stuffers. Then I also picked up two more of the Miles from Tomorrowland figures. This was the item that I said you have to be careful about because it differs so much from store to store. The first dollar room I went to uh, today had them for $4 again, Oops. and then the other one I went to had them for $1.50, which is the same as the first place that I had found these at. So these ones are actually two girl characters, which I picked up for my daughters because it doesn't seem to matter what the toy is, both my boys and my girls want to play with it. It typically ends up being fought over, so I thought I would make sure I have one for each of them. Then I also found a full-size Barbie. Uh, you don't typically find the actual brand name Barbies at Dollarama. They have their own knockoff brand, so when I found um, a Barbie or in this case Ken I just had to grab him so he is four dollars but most places that sell Barbie regularly um, like Walmart uh, Barbie and Ken started about ten bucks I did just uh, pick up two Barbies from Walmart on clearance and they were five so this being four dollars is the cheapest I've ever seen a Barbie go for and this is like summertime Ken so he does have a bathing suit on and this is the blonde dirty blonde I guess version of Ken uh, but my girls don't actually have any of the Ken dolls so I thought that they might get a kick out of playing with this one or uh, their brothers who like to play with them while they're playing at least this way they can dress up a boy instead of the girls 
then, as I mentioned, since my daughters are back on a frozen kick, it says it's a kitchen towel, but they're going to be using it in their bathroom. And on the one side, there's Elsa and then Anna. So it's actually a good size towel. It is that microfiber again, but it's the soft microfiber, so it's not going to catch on their skin. Uh, this was only $2 as well, so that's not bad for a licensed product. Then if you were watching my previous hauls, I did pick up some Pez for my kids. I'm going to be using these probably as stocking stuffers. I had got the Pokemon ones for my eldest son and I had picked up one of the Jurassic World dinosaurs for my youngest. So I did grab him a second one. And that's my favorite dinosaur from those movies. I think he's really neat. Um, if you saw the original Jurassic Park, uh, this is the one that uh, sprays Newman from Seinfeld in the face. And then I also picked up two Disney princess ones. I hadn't seen these at any of the other Dollaramas that I went to, so when I found these, I just had to scoop them up. So we've got a Cinderella. And... The one from Tangled. To be honest, I've never seen that movie, so I'm not sure if her name is still Rapunzel, like Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your hair down. I'm not sure, or if she has a different name in that movie. But that's the one from Tangled. So these are each $2.50, but with them being licensed Pez and you getting two packages of the Pez, I thought that was still quite a good deal. Then in my previous haul, I had also picked up these. Um, I had gotten two different designs before. I believe I got a pickup truck and a quad. So this time I got two different racing vehicles. This one says hard line on it and it's blue and green. And then this one is more like a roadster and it's red with flames. What I did notice with these ones is originally uh, they were uh, $2.50. So if you see this one here, it's by Montoy and it says Car Craft. Okay, and $2.50, the price is right on there. They've changed their name. So it's not by Montoy anymore. It's by Colorific and they're called Woodworks Streetcar Kits. So they actually changed the price from $2.50 up to $3. But they've also come up with some newer designs. So I guess it might be the increase in price. Maybe the decals are a little bit more expensive for it. I'm not really sure. Uh, but again, in these kits, you get the wood pieces to put the actual vehicle together. You get paint for it and then you get the decals to make it look all neat. So I thought those were perfect gifts for my boys for either their birthdays or for Christmas. Then I also picked up a book for my son. So this is Lego Star Wars and it's a two-in-one flip over reader. So it's got two different stories in it and I only paid two bucks so I thought a dollar per story that's a pretty good deal. So the first one is R2-D2 The Brave and you flip it over like this. And the second one is Han Solo's Adventures. And when you open it up, see a good page. So it's got full color pictures and a fair amount of text. Like I said, my son's only going into grade three, but he's a very avid reader and he loves all the Lego themed things. So I thought this book would be absolutely perfect for him. It'll probably actually be like a back to school gift because um, when we get back into school, we typically don't hit up the library as much as we do over the summer. So it's nice for him to actually have books that he can keep and read at a more leisurely pace than the ones he's able to like completely dive through in the summertime. Then I also found two new uh, well, I guess children's books as well, but for the younger age. So the first one is Justice League Super Villains United. And it looks like this. 
And what makes them neat and something that I have never seen before is they come with a little rubber bracelet. And that one there has the Batman logo on it, which I thought was so cool for my son. And they're $2.50 a piece, but they do have like full color images on the pages. And it's a book that you're going to have to read together for story time or that they can just flip through on their own and look at the pictures. But look at that artwork. Absolutely amazing for $2.50, especially when you get the bracelet thrown in. So that's going to be for my one son for his birthday. And then for his cousin, who is obsessed with Paw Patrol, uh, this is Sea Patrol to the Rescue. So again, you get a rubber bracelet, and that one happens to have Marshall on it. And then inside, gorgeous full page pictures and not a lot of text. This one's actually bilingual, so it does have the French at the bottom. Then for my daughter, so to get her something that wasn't a unicorn theme but still continues with the pink theme, which is kind of the joint idea for her birthday, I found this card game. My kids love card games and board games and especially games where you need to match things. Uh, so that's pretty much what this is. It's like one of the matching games, but a little quicker. You're competing to see how many matches you can grab. And it also comes with a mini fingerling in it that you can use as a pencil topper. So I thought that was really, really cute. And it was only $2 for the entire game and a little fingerling, which I thought was a really, really good deal. Then for my son, probably to go in his stocking, I found these boys briefs and they are Batman. Look at how cool those are. So it's a three pack and it was $4. But if you try and buy underwear at Walmart or any place like that, it's super expensive for the licensed stuff. So just over a dollar per pair is actually a really, really good price especially with how detailed these are and how much of the underwear actually has Batman covering it. It's a really good deal. He's absolutely, absolutely going to love these. Then for my eldest son, who's doing the emoji themed birthday party, I found these by Brick Tech. So they are compatible with um, Lego, or at least they say they are. But when I saw these, that they were emojis, I just could not leave them there. So this one, he's in an orange outfit. He actually has a present on his shirt. And then he's like laughing so hard that he's crying. And there's different figures that you can collect. It looks like there's six of them in total. And it says that this is the actual size of the figure, which is a decent size. And it shows that you can um, like clip him onto things like he comes with a little stand piece that you can hook over things like the top of a laptop um, you can keep him in your pocket you can put his head on top of a pencil all sorts of different things I just thought that was really neat then I also got this one and he's got the shades on and the sunburst on his shirt and they were only two bucks so I thought that was a pretty good deal then for my daughter, of course, you'll see when I show it to you, a little unicorn headband. So when you put, put it on your head, you get the little ears and the horn. And this is actually pink and sparkly. It's hard to tell in the camera there, but it does have a little bit of glitter on it. And it was only $1.25. And it's by the Olivia brand, which I hadn't seen too much at Dollarama before but they seem to be getting more in and it's a really cute brand. And then I found it's a uh, Kawao Squeezies Rainbow Go Squad. So you get one squeezy in the box and they're, they're like a squishy, like a slow rise squishy, but this one you can collect from 12 different unicorns. So those are the ones that you can possibly get all different colors and 
styles there. There's even one that's like Halloween and she's a bat. And that's what it looks like on the front. So you don't know, it's a surprise box. You don't know what you're gonna get inside. Uh, and these were $3, so I did only pick up one. But again, to follow that unicorn theme. And then if you look at the top of the box, it's a cute little rainbow handle. Just thought that was too sweet to pass up for her. Uh, for her, her birthday, as far as the unicorn stuff goes, I'm pretty sure I'm completely done now because I don't want to go like completely overboard. Um, but I found like a wide variety of items, um, some toys, some stickers, some beauty products. So I think she's going to be super excited for that. And then last but not least, I just have two more stocking stuffers. I actually found these Hot Wheels blind bags and it says they're mystery models and the package looks like this. So you don't know the car that you're going to get inside. I did pick up four, one for each of my kids, so I am hoping that they are all different. Otherwise we'll have the four of the same, but they might be okay with that. They absolutely love Hot Wheels. And these were only $1.50, which is the same price as buying uh, one of the individual cars um, at Dollar Tree or not, sorry, at, I don't know if Dollar Tree carries the Hot Wheels, but at Dollarama, um, they're $1.50. And so it's the same price, but this way you get the surprise of not knowing the car that you're going to get. And then I got these tiny little, it looks like a little baby bottle actually, but they're itty bitty lost kitties. Who's hiding inside? So it's like almost like a little Shopkin or a little Hatchimal size, but they're different cats. And there's 36 different ones that you could possibly get. It's the Littlest Pet Shop and it's by Hasbro. So like Little uh, little Kitties is a like subdivision of uh, Littlest Pet Shop. And Littlest Pet Shop items are really high quality so I thought that this would probably be pretty good as well. So I did pick up two of these and they were each $2 so one for each of my daughters and their stocking. So yeah so many amazing finds as it goes for Halloween and getting some stocking stuffers. Like I have to go and now make a list of everything that I've picked up over the last couple of days and see what I have, but I am mostly done and I'm actually super excited about that. I love being ahead of the game when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, I definitely will be doing a couple more uh, dollar Rama and Dollar Tree hauls before then, of course, because I just have so much fun doing them. But this way I can kind of take a step back and relax and not have to worry about scrounging things together for their birthdays last minute. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching and if you liked what I was able to haul, I hope you subscribe and you like the video. And if you have any comments for me, positive or negative feedback, I would really like to hear it. So definitely do leave a comment. Thanks guys. Have a nice night.